Hello everyone, how's everyone doing? You guys doing good too? I'm doing good too. Let's get today's video session. Here we go. Yeah, I have like my rocking on music as always. One of the finest tunes for today session. So anyway, we will continue in today's video session. And in this session, we are going into a further along systems. But we're still going to be talking about Panasonic Q in this video again. I don't know why Panasonic Q is coming in my way. It's such an important machine, right? Out of all the games console we ever know, in terms of color, design, features. Panasonic Q's is always going to chase us around, isn't it? It's one of them systems that you just can't ignore, can you? You just can't ignore it. Where I've been explaining to you about a lot, a lot of things about this system. There's so much to this system, though, isn't there, really? It's not like a normal machine that you just look and just ignore it. Because a lot of the games consoles we own, we look at them. First time when they launch, they looked exciting. And after that, they're just boring to look at. But this system is a system that you want to keep on gazing at with your eyes. It's like one of the machines. It's a really impressive piece of hardware. What they actually did with it. Nintendo putting a GameCube in the Panasonic Q was a big step. Because if you look at these two companies, Panasonic used multimedia controls on the system and the multimedia features. What kind of multimedia controls are we talking about? It had stuff like displays, DVD buttons, left right feature buttons and so on. It had stuff like that. And the other be and the other me multimedia features were we already know were DVD, BCD, audio CD, MP3, CDR, CDW. It does a lot, man. There's so much features to this system. Okay, so in today's video session we're going to be including Nintendo GameCube which Nintendo GameCube games did not appear on the Nintendo Wii which is a bit sad but still Nintendo Wii was absolutely an awesome system too if you just own the system and you don't have many games on Nintendo Wii you will never know if the Nintendo Wii was any good. Alright. I literally told you in my previous video 
the system that people think that Sony PlayStation 2 was good, it wasn't good as GameCube. No, it wasn't. It's all the all the way they think about the Nintendo GameCube. That's why it was very successful. Which I already told you many times. I'm not gonna go through all that. Nintendo GameCube is a far better gaming system than PlayStation 2. Okay. We don't care what happened on the markets. That's nothing to do with my video session. This is the one of the best video games produced on a platform. In my previous video I told you Dreamcast uh, PlayStation 2, GameCube and Xbox and the winner was Nintendo GameCube at the end. Alright and that previous session Nintendo GameCube was a winner. Right first of all we're gonna talk about Nintendo GameCube again today. <laughs> yeah. Right. Nintendo GameCube had some special games that no platform can ever touch. All right. Yes, Nintendo, we had some games that nobody can touch as well, probably. I'm going to talk about the games that on Nintendo GameCube that the Nintendo we didn't actually get any of these. Alright. Bloody Raw Primal Fury. Now, this is one of the other Bloody Raw games that came on a Nintendo GameCube. This is an absolutely an amazing 3D fighter with a lot of good graphics and gameplay. Humans turn into beast modes. It's a lot of incredible fighting action in this game. This game did not appear on the Nintendo Wii. Apparently, did it. This game was such an awesome title to have on the Nintendo GameCube, but we could have had a new version. On the Nintendo Wii, but no, man, in its full life cycle, Nintendo Wii didn't even get a bloody raw game. What a shame. That was one of them. This is a big one, all right? Really big one. F Zero GX, a game made by Sega and Nintendo together. Oh. I thought Sega Nintendo were competitors. <laughs> but this time, they're together to produce this game. They produced a, such a game that nobody could make. This game has stunning graphics, gameplay to talk about, and high speed racing. Ultimate speeds, man. Top speeds. You won't get out of any video game. It's one of the most stunning looking graphic graphics gameplay and speed you will ever see on a games console for racing games man for racing games this is another game that didn't appear on the Nintendo Wii again it didn't actually come on there what a shame one of the greatest r racing games and it doesn't appear on the Nintendo Wii The next one did come on it, but I just want to say something about it. Metroid Prime. Metro Prime 2 Echoes. Both of these games are FPS shooters on Nintendo GameCube. Alright. Now the reason I'm talking about these two titles. But you're thinking that Nintendo Wii had a game called Metro Prime Trilogy. Yes. What they did in that game, like Nintendo, we didn't have the Wii, and uh, Wii Remote and Nunchuck in it. They're using the Wii Remote and Nunchuck to play these games. Alright? I don't think there's any other option as well. It's literally made for that. 
All right. I would assume that they should use the game controllers for these three games. No, it's good to use a Wii remote and Uncharted. That's fine. Use as well. But they should have used the game control feature in there. But they didn't use it. Because I think the original games like Metro Prime, Metro Prime 2 Echoes, they were more suited with the game controller than using the Wii remote and Uncharted, really. Because originally they were played like that. So I think this thing should have been in there. So because of that, I put this in this again because that part is missing from the Nintendo Wii feature. Okay. Soul Calibur 2. Amazing fighting game with good graphics and good gameplay. This is a great good swordplay. Yeah. Mitsurugi and Link in this game. Now the thing with this game is, this is a great 3D weapon based fighting game, alright? And now this game was absolutely an awesome game on Nintendo GameCube. But the problem with Namco, why did they just release Soul Calibur Legends? It's not a proper fighting game, is it? Because Soul Calibur Legends is not as good as Soul Calibur 2, you know? It's not even a good game as this. No. So the GameCube is tops here. Releasing Soul Calibur 2 and putting an extra stage and link in this game. But having just Soul Calibur Legends doesn't cut the mustard, does it? He didn't have a Soul Calibur for the game. Star Fox Assault. I don't know how many Star Fox can we games got in the past. Super Nintendo, 364. Yeah, and now the GameCube. This is one of the flight simulation things that a lot of people strive about, and they're really, really excited to know when does the next one come out. But that never actually happened on the Nintendo Wii, but on the Wii U, we got Star Fox Zero instead. But I would say, because if we got Nintendo on GameCube here, why did we get this version on Nintendo Wii? Which is, to me, is very disappointing. We are missing a lot, a lot of big titles from the Nintendo powerhouse, which is really, really a big shame. Instead of releasing something else on there every time, but they didn't release anything like this. Starbucks Assault is a Fly simulation space combat game that every Nintendo fan and any other person who's not into Nintendo games will love this game. This game was on uh, in flight simulation, uh, 3D platforming, and uh, driving vehicles and also shooting action in this game. This is an absolutely amazing game, but apparently it didn't appear on Nintendo Wii. What a shame. Luigi Mansion. I don't believe this. I keep on talking about a lot, a lot of different tiles here. Now, Luigi Mansion was a absolutely a stunning looking game for the character Luigi. Stunning graphics, very good gameplay, where Luigi is using a hoover to get rid of the enemies. He's using that. It's stuff like that. He does all sorts of things. He grabs things and throws ob obstacles like balls and all that with the hoover. He grabs them like a magnet and then he hits them <laughs> with the hover of the hoover. A very good action game this is. Luigi Mansion. But this game did not appear on Nintendo Wii either. No. Shadow the Hedgehog. 
this might be a bizarre thing to say that I'm looking for a new game to come out Shadow of the Hedgehog probably you wouldn't get it anyway that quickly because this game was released on the Nintendo game Q on Shadow of the Hedgehog in 2005 which kind of new to the GameCube scene when the Nintendo Wii came in 2006 it could have just come straight away but I was thinking that why didn't they use like some kind of uh, Wii Remote and Nunchuck controls and improve the graphics and release this on Nintendo Wii but they didn't even do that so this game is a Sega's Sonic Team 3D platforming which is about good versus evil you gotta know how to play the game properly which I explained in my previous video so I'm not gonna go through all that a very good action platform game right from start to finish I think they should have remastered this game and brought it to the Nintendo Wii they should have missed this game out it would have been a good game if they put some new features and changed some parts to it put an extra even a mode in there but they didn't even bring this game on there because this game was so awesome on Nintendo GameCube it would have been a big thing if this game came on Nintendo Wii with better graphics, some improved gameplay, and probably an extra mode in there. It didn't come on it. Shame. When Shadow the Hedgehog was a great game on Nintendo GameCube. Sorry, Nintendo Wii didn't get it. Wave Race Blue Storm. The Wave Race originally appeared on Nintendo 64, and now it's on Nintendo GameCube. Now, this game, right? It's on speedboats. The water effects are incredible in this game. They need to be seen. The graphics and the water effects in this game are really incredible with the power of the Nintendo GameCube. Shows real power what Nintendo GameCube was capable of. He was capable of incredible graphics. <laughs> That's how to say. You're running speedboats, a left and right, staying inside the obstacles. Not missing any of the parts. A great racing game. You're racing away with the other races as well. A very great looking game. Why didn't this game on the Nintendo Wii as well? Oh, I give up on this Nintendo Wii man. So many great titles missing. These are the original Nintendo games. Why did they call it a new Wii? I don't, I don't just don't get this. This is just crazy. At least they should have came if they lost the licenses. They should have got the licenses back somehow. And they should have brought them back. No, but they were just ignored. What a shame. Now, we're going to go to Nintendo Wii. Okay. Nintendo Wii was a really important game console. All right. Right, this game's console wasn't focused on a game controller. You could still play them on there, but even the game controller it was you have to do something else with it. In this machine, right, you have to use a Wii Remote and Nunchuck. Okay, they use a Nunchuck, right? You know the joystick to make move forward, backward, left, and right. And I think the Z button needs to do some block moves. And the remote was like, you can use it like a sword and all that. And slash it. So you go using a Wii, you can say like the Wii remote is your sword and your nunchuck is the shield. It was that awesome. He was doing things like that of that nature. But I think it should have focused on game controls as well. Rather than just focusing on too much on the Wii Remote and Nunchuck. So let's just get into the game. Knights originally appeared on the Sega Saturn. This is the Nintendo Wii version. It's a similar game like the Sega Saturn with far more better graphics. Good gameplay. Still, he flies in the skies and all that stuff. 
This game's got a really still incredible uh, music track in the game. This is such a great game. This um, you should check this game out. Man. I would get it now. Okay, Tatsunoko versus Capcom Ultimate All Stars. So it's got Tatsunoko and Capcom characters. Very good graphics and gameplay. You're making use of the Wii Remote and Nunchuck. Okay. Uh, you are using all sorts of stuff with the Wii Remote. You're doing moves with some moves with the remote. And you're moving forward with the, uh, I call it, with the remote. Oh, sorry, with the Nunchuck and all that. You're making use of these two controls with this game. When you play this game, you will have the more idea and experience how this game actually works. It is really, really good. They use every single control from both of these controls out there. Wii Remote and Nunchuck. It's a great, amazing looking game, man. Absolutely incredible fighter. I got no words. Special effects, fluid movements. It's got it. has it all. So check it out. Get this game now. Super Smash Bros. Brawl is one of the fighting games with ironic characters in there. Good graphics and gameplay. They talk about Nintendo and many other characters from other games. Okay. This game is really massive, really bug, a bug, really amazing, really exciting to play. You cannot get on this game once you start playing and start pressing the bond on it. It's such a great looking game. You cannot go without it. I would say this game was better to play with the Nintendo GameCube controller. When we had the Nintendo GameCube version called Super Smash Bros. Melee, that was the best control system. That same control system can be used on this system as well. So, it's a great boy game and it's still a useful piece of boy game that you have to see. The guy from America Solid is in this game, you know. He, he says this funny thing. He goes, oh no. This Mario guy is really famous. He wants to beat him up because of that. <laughs> yeah, get this game now. It's still got to be missed. Some people would say this is one of the best Nintendo Wii games. Who knows? So check it out. Mario Kart. Wow. This does have very stunning graphics and gameplay. On the GameCube Mario Kart Double Dash, there was two people on the car. On this one, again, just one person. But this game, it does look really impressive. When you're gonna play it, you're gonna just go, wow, this looks absolutely incredible. Because you're playing with these amazing looking graphics. You're like on these candy kind of tracks, forests, mushroom stages. It just looks so amazing. Check this game out, man. Get it now. Super Mario Galaxy and Super Mario Galaxy 2. I've got no words for this game. How many people love this game on the system? It's 3D platforming and then it goes through this camera and goes woohoo! And it starts flying up in the skies. And all that. He's in like a galaxy on his platform. It's like both worlds, but the platforming levels are less. It's more to do up in the air. This game is. In the Super Mario Galaxy, the first one, you just got some Mario in there. But in the Super Mario Galaxy 2, you get to play with Yoshi, you ride him. Chuk, 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 chuk. Great looking games, both of these games. A great 3D platformer and flying action game. Get it now, man. Kelowna and Namco platform game. By far, this is the best version of this game because it has 
the most stunning looking graphics All right. and good gameplay it still has all the same things you expect from the previous game that you seen before this game just looks so great to look at it the graphics gameplay and the music in this game is just so awesome you can't just go wrong with this game to get this game is really good get it now Donkey Kong Jungle Beat we talked about this game from Nintendo GameCube which used a game controller but the Donkey Kong Jungle Beat in Nintendo Wii uses the Wii Remote and Nunchuck okay you're doing all sorts of things when he when he's on the flower he holds it when he moves the remote he goes whoa he flies with it and all sorts of things like that you do all sorts of things with the remote and nunchuck here yeah, check this game out get it now Sonic Colors is an absolutely stunning looking graphical game with good gameplay this is a very different game right with this game you have to attach the Nintendo Wii game controller you do not play this game with the remote and nunchuck, no. You have to use the Nintendo Wii game controller. There you go, one game. But you have you have to put it in the remote control. God, that's just insane. If the battery runs out, then your game controller won't work anymore. That's the thing I never used to like about this thing. So this is a great platforming action where Robotnik are uh, building an amusement park. He's challenging and all that. He's quite cheeky in this game. So Sonic and Tails are back in his ass in this game with the wisps. Sonic uses the wisps, wisps to get extra amounts of powers and do these kind of things in this game. This game is really, really good. Get it now. Then we got Zelda Skyward Sword. I don't know much about this game, but a lot of people go this is one of the most awesome Zelda game. that you have to use a special kind of attachment to this game. It is another Zelda game. I don't think you could go wrong with it. Yeah, so I don't have any details of this game about this game because I've never actually played it. So you have to just check it out yourself. Metro Prime Trilogy, it has all the three games using the Wii Remote and Nunchuck this game still looks really good it has the first two games and it has Metro Prime 3 Corruption in there which uh, to me might be the best game in the series on the number series yeah and it's a very good package if you buy the Metro Prime Trilogy because you get all three of them this is a really expensive game by the way so you should take a look at this game. This is a serious game. So what I like about this game, even though it uses some control systems, yeah, where the remote, oh, sorry, the nunchuck you're moving in first person, you forward and backward, left and right, and then you know, with the remote, you're shooting. Like a real gun, is it really awesome stuff in this game? I have to say that with Metro Prime 3 Corruption, I would re highly recommend you for that. You do that and you're targeting. You could do the target with the remote and you could shoot away. Just using like a real gun. This game is so awesome, man. Get it now. New Super Mario Brothers, made from the original NES game. But improves in graphics and gameplay. This is one of the best from the original Super Mario Bros. games. It does say new. It changes quite a lot of things to this game. The new Super Mario Bros. game is such a such a awesome piece of game and it has lot of lot of things to Super Mario Bros. game. I was so surprised how good this game really was on this so that's new Super Mario Bros getting now because this is great platforming 
all the way. Samurai Warriors 3. This is a one of another titles that you should consider. This has such a amazing graphics and gameplay, groundbreaking gameplay using William R. Nunchuck because you're using uh, the uh, Nunchuck to move the character and you're using the real mode to use the sword. Yeah! This is a, such a incredible looking game. I did find this game really interesting on the Nintendo Wii. I didn't expect too much from it, but when I played it, this game is really, really impressive. Get it now. Okay, so Monster Hunter 3 Try. This is one of the very good Monster Hunter games that I found very, very useful. And the monsters, they're not really monsters. They're like prehistoric creatures with dinosaurs and all that. You got loads and loads of characters in this game. And it looks really, really good because the way they made this game, it had really good graphics. This is big emphasis on the wheel mode and nunchuck. Obviously, again, you use the nunchuck to move from the back and left to right. And you will use to do so many moves like with the real remote and charge with the buttons and all that. Yeah, you know, all sorts of moves like with the remote. It feels like you're a real fighter with the real remote and nunchuck. It looks so awesome, so much fun playing this game. And I gotta highly recommend this game because Monster Hunter 3 try is one of them action games that cannot be ignored so monster hunter 3 try get it now donkey kong country returns is another of them titles it's donkey kong game isn't it so this is a simplified platform game is he a good tile? 100%. This is a very, very good game. Very good graphics gameplay. The music is really, really, really impressive in this game. And Donkey Kong Country Returns. It says Returns. It's following up the original Super Nintendo games called Donkey Kong Country. This is not made by the same developer. It's made by somebody else. I have no clue who's he actually made by. But his game is so awesome from start to finish. You get tons of challenge, good platforming. You know, all the he comes on his minds, swings along left to right. Well, he's a monkey. He's going to do stuff like that, isn't he? He swings out, he does, he goes, whoa, whoa, whoa. Too incredible game, man. Too much. Too good to be true, man. Get this game now, man. Go for it. The House of the Dead 2 and 3 return. Do not buy this game if you thinking that this game is for the game controller. It's not. This game has really awesome graphics and gameplay. It has the original game that you saw on the Sega Dreamcast, which was House of the Dead 2. It's in there. But it doesn't play like that. All right. In this game, right, you have to use the Wii Remote and Nunchuck as the gun, right? And you're using the Nunchuck uh, to do all sorts of things, okay? Because usually this game is automatic, isn't it? You're not really, you're not really moving and you're not going forward, back or left or right. I think the nunchuck is not going to do much use to it, but there might be some few moves in it. But most majority of times, you're just targeting away with the Wii remote and shooting away. You do need that. And also, there was a gun as well you can buy. Because I thought that because the manual was specifying a gun, the Nintendo Wii gun. If you prefer the gun than the Wii remote, 
because really this is a really a good game isn't it I wouldn't recommend it to you can still use a wheel more and nunchucks up to you but if you want a better game experience of a real person doing the thing then get the gun this is a definitely worth the purchase Poop. Gold man the gold gold man's in this game it has the two isn't it the music's all there, man. This is an epic game, man. Get this game now. Yeah, the last story. This is one of them games. So this is a action adventure game where you get all sorts of stuff happening in this title, and it's a really good tile and where it's I don't know what developers is maybe, maybe it's queer so I can be wrong please don't take my word can be somebody else can be one of the Nintendo developers and this character is so awesome he's working in 3D graphics the game is very very good from start to finish where you get to explore vast parts of this open world in this title I did love this game a lot yeah, I didn't get much time to play much of this game, so I couldn't explain too much details of this game. Didn't get much time to get into this game, but it was a very, very interesting tile where you're exploring these 3D worlds. And you're not really, well, it's you are, it's action adventure kind of title where you're doing laws of exploration, laws of sword action. <laughs> This is a Japanese game. It's such an awesome. It's totally emphasized on Japanese stuff. The last story, man. Get it now. Okay. Metroid Other M. Maybe not good ad, good as other Metro Prime trilogy titles, but still Metroid Other M is still a awesome title. These were made by Tecmo, the guys of Bull, Dead or Alive, and Ninja Gaiden games. Even in this game, you're not playing in a first person view, you're not in 2D, you are in 3D, you're walking in 3D in this game. Okay? You need to use a Wii Remote Nunchuck, okay? You can't use a game control in this game, you have to use that. Sometimes you have to get in first person view mode and you're using the target for the remote. And you shoot away, and stuff like that. And you're using the nunchuck as usual to do um, move forward, backwards, left, right. He has all that in there. Okay, and yeah, it's a great looking game still. Some people go, it's not that good. They don't know where the way it was. I don't know what they are, what the heck they're on about. There's nothing wrong with this game. I think it's a pretty awesome game. It's really, really good actually. Yeah, it looks really impressive. Impressive Metro game, yeah. Definitely check this game out. Ignore the people, get this game now. So yeah, Nintendo Wii is a still a powerful contender. It has a such a awesome lineup of games on this. Now we're gonna go into Sony PlayStation 3. I have never ever like this system, I'll be honest with you. Okay, so this system was following a trend of the PC games. Too much PC titles, man. PC titles make it really, really not very exclusive when it comes to a system. There's too many PC titles on this game. But later, the three did have games like. Uh, uh, what kind of games did he have? Dead or Alive. Um, Tekken Tag Tournament, Tekken 6, Ridge Racer 7, he had stuff like that. Um, 
Transformers Devastation. Uh, but the problem with these games, they are that awesome, man. I don't think they are. They're not that good tiles as we really expect them to be. The most majority of these tiles come from PC. Some of these PlayStation exclusives are just boring titles and um, it just it doesn't just cut the mustard really. And then there are other games like Peronetta and stuff like that. I don't know what to say about this thing really because I don't really find it very appealing that he had in games like Guns or Auto. Because he for you know Ferrari game. I don't know, there's not much variety to the system to be honest. You can't just buy it for one or two games, can you? And there was games like um uh Soul Carbo 4, Soul Carbo 5. Maybe it's just worth it to just buy for Soul Carbo 4 and 5. I don't find any other thing that was very useful for this system. This system was very powerful indeed, they go ahead with Blu-ray technology. It's very expensive. Right, and it was very hard to develop games for it, and that's why a lot of developers didn't go on board the system, and it didn't do so well. Right, and the next one is a Microsoft Xbox 360. I don't know why people like Microsoft systems. I don't tend to like Microsoft systems. It's Microsoft, man, isn't it? What do you think Microsoft's all about? He's a PC developer, isn't it? He makes PC software, and it's from the PC. A lot of the games on Microsoft Xbox is they all from the PC. But he had some few tiles, right? Halo uh, Halo Forza Bayonetta a few bits and bats like that. I don't know what to say about this system. Uh, Gears of War. I don't feel that it was that awesome to me, to my taste, this system. So I do really think that it's um, still. I really think that they aren't. They are not that awesome. The problem with this system, they were too focused on PC games. Now let's look at this whole lineup of these systems Nintendo Wii 2006 Sony PlayStation 3 2006 and then the follow-up system was Microsoft Xbox 360 now all of these systems were released in this kind of lineup what I just told you where I said the Nintendo GameCube had some unique game to the system which the Nintendo Wii didn't have now if we look at all of these three systems now because this test has got nothing to do with Nintendo GameCube now let's see which one stands the chance of winning this competition let's check this out I think I was already giving it away wasn't it? <laughs> so, but we need to look it in more depth Right. If you look at the Microsoft Xbox 360, that is totally emphasizing on PC gaming, man. All right, you're not gonna find much awesome games on this system. A lot of people are just saying that it's good, it's good. They're just saying it. They're just looking at multi. Oh my games is the same, but if you look at his own stand, it have his own stand whatsoever. He was just keep on releasing too many PC games. I would say this: Microsoft Xbox 360 is out. Okay, now we got Nintendo Wii and Sony PlayStation 3. So how does Nintendo Wii shape up to the Sony PS3? So let's check this out. So who will win this competition? And let's find out. Nintendo Wii is a house of platformers, man. 
Hello, I was going to start a case this. Super Mario Galaxy, Super Mario Galaxy 2. There's no test to that game. And Sonic Colors. New Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> How does Sony PlayStation 3 stand against these games? Western platforming? It did have Sonic the Hedgehog on it on PlayStation 3, which was <laughs> it's terrible anyway. If you're thinking games like Jack and Daxter and all them other games that can stand against these Nintendo games, sorry, it couldn't. It doesn't have the chance to stand against them. Nintendo wins on that in terms of platforming. Okay. What about when we look at First person view shooters. How does Nintendo Wii win over PS3? It's very simple. When we get first person view games like House of Dead 2 and 3, and then we got Metro Prime Trilogy, and the other side you got Call of Duty games, um, stuff like that. It doesn't stand the chance. It doesn't. Because where the Nintendo Wii does, it uses a new control system where you're using a nunchuck to move forward, backward, left, right. Gives you a great experience. And then you're using the remote to navigate the target, man. And you're shooting away. <laughs> Nintendo Wii just wins the game, man. It's too awesome. A lot of people didn't look at these things. It wins again. So we got two points versus zero points here. Now racing. How does racing fare on the Nintendo Wii? It fares it pretty good. Just alone, there are quite a lot of games on uh, Nintendo Wii. They did have a game called Need for Speed. Nitro Ferrari Mario Kart All of these three games were really awesome on this I don't find Sony PS3 racing is very appealing Ridge Racer 7 was not a very good driving game It wasn't a very good even arcade game, no way it wasn't. It was a worse game than the previous Ridge Racer games, in my opinion. It wasn't that good. Then you got Gran Turismo 4 and 5. But the problem with that game is, I always say this, it's only people who are into real driving simulators. you got to be into that. If you don't like that kind of thing, it just can't win, can it? you got to be into licenses. Because if you're not good with the licenses, you can't enjoy this game. It, this game is very difficult, trust me on this. I've played this game, they're very difficult indeed. They're really, really difficult. Even the, even the arcade star, everything in this game is very difficult. It's not a simple game at, at all. To me, Mario Kart is a video game industry standard game. This game, right, you can race away, you can make it difficult, you can make multiplayer, you can't make this game. Even in the past, when Mario Kart versus Gran Turismo used to beat it, I'm rather kidding on that. This game is really good because the way it's made is just different, okay? Because even Need for Speed Nitro and the Ferrari game performed better on the Nintendo Wii than the PS3. They did actually. It just looks similar like them really. I don't know why would you look at that version when you got the Nintendo Wii version, they're a lot better. Nintendo Wii shapes up to be a great platform for races as well. It does, because especially if you got Mario Kart on any Nintendo platform. I don't know, it's just really good man. 
It's always top game, man. This Nintendo Wii Mario Kart game is really good, man. I would say it's better than Grand Turismo 4 and 5. I would say it's better than even Grand Turismo using real sports cars. It doesn't matter. It doesn't make the game exciting. No, it doesn't. If you can't cope the arcade driving and you don't know how to play the licenses, why would you like Grand Turismo anyway? Why would you like it? I gotta give the point to Nintendo Wii again. Three versus zero. You can't keep on looking at modern technology. You gotta look at how the games are developed, how, how, where the originality comes from. You gotta look at like that. Because if you don't look at like that, then you wouldn't get nothing like that. Right? Fighting. Fighting. Does fighting game has a chance on Nintendo Wii over the PS3? Let's find out. It has a game like Soul Calibur Legends. Probably it's not a fighting game, but he has bought from like a fighting thing. Soul Calibur Legends was, and he still uses them awesome kind of things in this game. It's still a really, really impressive game. This is. This game's like Naruto, Bleach, Dragon Ball Z. They all are Nintendo with these games. Are. And the other side, fighting games, you've got uh, Tekken 6. Uh, so Karma 4 and 5. Does it really matter if you got games like that? Can you still win the competition if you use games like this on the PS3? But they're just following their own trend, aren't they? Because when we look at Tekken, just Tekken is Tekken. So Karma is just Soul Karma. There might be awesome games. There's one thing that they don't have. Characters from other games. They don't have that. And the stages from other games. So what we're talking about here? Super Smash Bros. Brawl. It's such an important game in video game industry. Way it's got from Nintendo characters like Mario, Luigi, Pokemon. Star Fox characters. Cause like Fox. Even Sonic Metal Solid. Flipping heck man. It's got characters from these games. And this game is so awesome that it tends to mix up everything all in one. Thieves was critically claimed. As one of the most awesome games Nintendo Wii, does Tekken 6 or Cover 4 5 have a chance? <laughs> not, not at all. No way. No, no chance. This game is still good, man. Because, you know, you get to. You know what I like about this game? Like, check this fighting game out. Like, you get to. Uh, Choose Star Fox, you know, Fox McCloud. You get to go on, on his stage, right? Where he's on the on his spaceship and he's flying on it and he's going do 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 and he's shooting, shooting away. Your character scares bad and then he's running you fast and he's going and then he's using goes He has all sorts of actions like that. Then he's going around these amazing worlds. This game is bad, trust me. It's really good. Then you got Mario in the Mushroom Kingdom. And he's jumping on mushrooms. This game is bad, man. And then he's got this um, uh, special game mode. Adventure mode, that's it. Adventure mode. 
where you get to do some platforming in this game. Where do you get all this stuff from Soul Calibur and Tekken guys on Sony PS3? No, you don't. You don't get that. Sorry, man. Tender way wins in fighting series. Because you just don't get Super Smash Bros. Brawl. You will get to play Naruto, Bleach, Dragon Ball Z. You get to play all these classic fighting games, alright? And also, he has a most awesome game as well. Tatsunoko, Tatsunoko versus Capcom Ultimate All Stars. That's another great fighting game on Nintendo Wii man. That you can't go wrong. That game is not on PlayStation 3 man. So it's easily said. I mean, if you got games like Tatsunoko versus Capcom All Stars, Super Smash Bros. Brawl, and on top of that, you put Dragon Ball Z, Bleach, and Auto, you can't beat this system man. And the Wii wins again and gets another point. How many points do you want? He's got all the points to himself. So, to be honest, Sony PlayStation 3 is out. It's out. And also about Nintendo Wii's speciality was uh, we know the more blue motion controls where you do the mouse mats, all the names and stuff. You got all sorts of stuff like that happening on this machine. You just can't beat all that stuff on this machine, man. It's got stuff like that. I didn't mention any games other, sorry about that. But it does have all sorts of exercising and dancing games like that. That is an unbeatable thing on Nintendo Wii, isn't it? It was actually made for that. But still, it's got other parts of games that uh, the Sony PS3 and Microsoft Xbox 360 can never beat. No chance. Nintendo Wii was a very exclusive to its unique games again. Eternity again. Where the Sony PS3 and Xbox 360? Sony PS3 and Microsoft Xbox 360 is relying most majority on the PC games. That's not good. You got nothing unique. You can't be Nintendo. Just get lost, Sony Microsoft. Nintendo is original. If Sega comes back, Ever, we don't know if that was going to happen because back in the time when Sega Mega Drive Super Nintendo he was used to be good good what do you call it Com a great competition between the two but having this Sony Microsoft this is boring man they don't really know the best games man what, what the heck this is taking other developers and just making games you're not gonna you're not gonna become the best like that because Sega and Nintendo always produce the best video game on each of the consoles, they've already been doing that. So many Microsoft can't do that. They're just taking games from other developers. They're not unique games, trust me. Sony is an electronic company, Microsoft is a PC software developer. How can they be an awesome game? Gaming consoles, they just can't be. The Dando we did win in the real competition, even in my competition, which I got nothing to do with sales. It wins easily. Congratulations! So the champion on today's game, game console system is it has to be congratulations. Well done. In my opinion, Tendo we has won a game. <laughs> well done. So we know what to expect from his system. If you still feel that you should own one of these things. Please do get one of these machines, they're really, really impressive. Stay away from the only PS3 and Xbox 360. There are no excitement tiles on there. They're just going to bore you again. Every time going to bore you. Even the competition with these three consoles, Nintendo is winning again. <laughs> Nintendo puts his most awesome console, which is a 3-in-1, which I don't want to talk about. And he just whacks the Sony PS4 and marks on Xbox One. If you look at the three years life cycle of these three systems in this generation, what's happening? And does winning again. <laughs> He's blown away. You just wait and see what's going to happen in the near future when these companies will release these machines in November, December. Nintendo will wash them away. Nintendo's a great threat, you know. Yeah.
And remember, Panasonic and Nintendo did get together. They produced a system called Panasonic Q Games Console. Please, please take a look at that system. It's one of the most awesome looking systems you'll ever buy. It's a good system that like it was manufactured by Panasonic. It's something different, isn't it? You'll get to get a system which is manufactured by Panasonic. Do you buy that system? Panasonic Q Games Console is a, such an awesome still the art games console. I always thought it's one of the best looking system to date. It still is. It still hasn't been beaten. So do take a look at the Panasonic Q Games Console. Take this concept really seriously. Trust me, you'll be gazing and gazing at the system for hours and hours. The way it's made. So I hope today's session has been quite informative and it has given you great knowledge what the Nintendo GameCube can be like under the Panasonic uh, Panasonic Q game console and using the Bluetooth controllers on the Nintendo Wii. Nintendo is a very awesome company. You see, even when the Nintendo thought they had a GameCube, he knew the Nintendo GameCube wasn't uh, it wasn't enough. So he teamed up with Panasonic to make a full feature multimedia system and look what happened Panasonic Q games console and DVD game system it was a such an awesome system to buy get it if you got the money it does cost a lot <laughs> if you want something good you do have to spend big money to buy this thing I'm afraid it does cost a bit much. So I hope you like my video session today. It's been quite informative today and it has given you good depth knowledge what to expect from Panasonic Q games console. It's still an awesome piece of still the art games console. So there you have it. Give your likes, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye from now.